This liquid marble is made of extremely salty water. So salty that crystals form as soon as the water begins evaporating. Turning salty water into salt crystals is a neat trick, but also a tricky problem. Salt and other mineral deposits plague power plants, which turn heat into electricity and require loads of water to cool their systems. A typical power plant uses about a billion gallons of fresh water each year. Even highly purified water contains traces of salt, and the pesky deposits left behind put a $100 billion hit on the GDPs of industrialized nations. To fix this problem, it's best to focus on the surfaces the drops are cooling rather than the droplets themselves. New research shows the texture of a material's surface at super small scales, the micro and nanometer level, changes the shape of salt crystals that form as water evaporates. Surfaces with micro-sized wells allow the water to flatten and spread out, which ends up clogging the surface with crystals. But nano-sized gaps force the crystals to grow upward, creating deposits that resemble elephants and jellyfish. These crystal critters stand out and are easier to remove. They can even drift away on their own. Researchers made the crystals walk and roll by fiddling with the timing of heat applied to the water. It's more than entertainment. By tweaking the interplay between surface textures, temperatures, and crystal sizes, engineers could design power plants to prevent the buildup of minerals, and possibly even cool them with salt water instead of fresh water. If nothing else, it's worth a closer look.